Um, I just want to talk about something that comes across my desk or has been coming across my desk frequently, specifically with relationships. And when we talk about thriving couples, um, an important concept and topic is, is your attitude. Um, your attitude towards what's going on in your relationship is super important. And you don't realize how much um, pressure you put on your relationship or how much pressure you put on the people around you if you can't fix your attitude. Um, and so what does that mean? Well, a lot of times our, our disposition on life and how we see things and, and our, our, um, our lens is constantly about a confrontation or it's constantly about um, what the challenge is or how do I fix other people or how will somebody else do something that's going to help me or how will somebody do something else so that I can feel better, right? And if I constantly have that look, that kind of attitude puts me in a situation where I'm always going to be upset about life and specifically for us, where I'm always going to be upset about my relationship, right? So you have to fix your attitude. You have to really work on you to get to a different spot and see things differently. People aren't out to get you. Your partner is not really your enemy. It might feel like it in moments, but you you can't forget the idea that there's love at the core of it and whatever it is that your partner is doing in life doesn't necessarily mean that it's against you. And at some rate, I'm sure it's the best that they can do. It's not necessarily the best that we want them to do, but it's the best they can do for that moment. And their only chance of improving if they're not seeing anything else or starting to really work on their own, the only chance for them improving anyways would be your attitude. Right. That, that would be the only thing. So it's not your fault that they're in the position that they're in or they're not doing the things that they need to be doing. But your attitude gives a good chance and opportunity for life to be different for you and for your partner. All right. So can you switch your mind about how you're going about things? You can't have this mindset that your partner will never do the right things or that your partner is not going to do right by you. Matter of fact, by the time you get done infesting yourself with all that energy that says like somebody else isn't doing things right. Now you're at, you're at a point where you're doing things that you don't even want to be a part of. You're at a point where you're being somebody that you wouldn't even want to be with, right? So your challenge is to fix your attitude. The more that you fix your attitude, you start getting your relationship into a thriving space because the sky's the limit at that point in time. If we're both looking out for each other, if we're making sure that in our relationships that um, that our persons are honored and that they're loved and that they're, they're cared for and we know and understand their life and the things that they're going through, if we do that for each other, then everything changes. But if one of us has an attitude of like, I got to wait till you go first or I'm not going to be better than what I'm being in this moment, it's going to be a struggle. It's going to be really hard to thrive. So we have to switch it over. I mean, you're you're not even if you say, you know what, well, Thomas, I'm done with this relationship. Well, you're going to have to fix it for the next one anyways. So start fixing it. Start working on it. Right. Start figuring out how can I be have a good attitude in the worst scenarios, because then that's going to, to make me better for life in general. And as we move forward. OK, so I just want to challenge you guys to do that. I mean, I, I know it's not easy. It's not always easy to have the right kind of attitude that's that's really going to help us out. Um, but. That's what thriving is all about, is being in a better place and being able to shape yourself differently.